Hello there, John Hall from Right Here Pens, and today we're going to look at this. What is it, I hear you ask? Well, it's a great boon for anybody who owns a sailor pen. It is a sailor pen maintenance kit, and it does quite a lot of things. Many of them, I'm afraid, only for sailor pens, but some of them for any pen. So let's go and have a closer look. Okay, so now we have the full kit assembled here. So, what have we got? Well, we have a set of instructions, which I'm delighted to say are in English as well. So it tells you what you've got here. And let's have a look in the box. So, there we go. So we've got this, like the back end of a syringe, um, which is clearly to insert and possibly remove fluids. And we've got this, which we discover is a cleaning unit, and that will screw in there, Ooh, wrong end, screw in there very firmly. But we also have a spare cartridge or an empty cartridge for sailor pens. And here we have safely put away a hypodermic syringe. So I'm going to start with the cleaning process because this will do two things. It will enable you to gather the last drops of your precious ink from the bottle and also to make your pen sparkling clean. So here we go. This hypodermic syringey thing, as I say, that screws on there. And then we get our pen. And I'm afraid, as far as I can see, this only works for sailor pens. Um, because, as you will see, it is entirely dependent on a good fit here. This is a brand new pen, <laughs> obviously. Well, I should have found a dirty one, but I didn't. There we go. So that actually screws on, as you saw there, to the section of the pen, um, forming a very, very tight seal where the cartridge would normally go. And you'll see why that's necessary in a moment. So we would, under normal circumstances, insert the pen in there. Well, that's joy. It's obviously been tested at some point. So we would remove that and squirt in there. So there we go. And we will keep this process going until the water runs clear, which I think actually is pretty much now. And so what you have now is a perfectly clean pen. So if you wish to change the ink color, if you do this first, you will find you can change the ink color with absolutely no trouble at all. So I'm just going to pop things back together again. So as you remember, this screws in there. Put that there. And we'll put this here to dry off at a later date. But what we're going to do now is unscrew this. And show you what this is for. Okay, so this again unscrews. So we've got a hypodermic 
be fairly careful. It's not hypodermic because it's not going under the skin. That's ridiculous. I put ink ick or something like that. I don't know. It's going to go into an ink bottle and suck up ink. So, using this old Sailor Gentle bottle, you see there's a little bit of ink in the bottom there. And one frequently comes to a situation where there's a little bit of ink in the bottom of your pen, in, the, in a, of your bottle, and you'd love to get it up to fill your pen, plenty to fill the pen, but you can't get it out. But look at that. So that sucked up all that ink. And you've got two options here. You can either squirt it into the converter, which would be very straightforward, or pop it in to this empty Sailor converter. Sailor converter. And that will just fit in. Excess ink goes in there. There we are. So you've now got a sailor cartridge full of splendidly clean ink of any colour you want. Now, it also works the other way around. So if you've got a little bit of ink left in the bottom of the converter, Sorry, cartridge, cartridge, what am I talking about? It work with the converter as well, but you can usually just squeeze that out. So in it comes. And actually, back into the bottle. We might give that another go. Tiny bit more come out. But you're also left with a grubby cartridge. So what do we do? Well, first of all, we put a little bit of water in, like this. There we go. Oh, we've got to break the meniscus somehow. Actually, that's interesting. So we'll clean that and we'll drag this out. There we go. You get the idea anyway, and what you'll see is that, although I managed to cover myself with ink, which I always seem to do, this is starting to clean itself out, and soon will be, yes, you can see at the bottom there, Um, it's particularly good sort of plastic for this job because as you can see it doesn't hold the ink so this would need another couple of goes and it would be fine well I'm sure I'll finish it but I don't have an, uh, an audience so here we go it's the Sailor pen maintenance kit and I think it's an absolute cracker